All right, Battle Boxers, my Pro Plus box for September 2024 just came in the mail. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Battle Box unboxing. As always, this is like the OG uh, survival prepping outdoor gear kind of box. Really cool one, four different flavors so you can get lots of different levels. Uh, you can come in pretty cheap at the basic box going all the way up to the Pro Plus which is what we unbox on this channel. Um, that one just typically has a little bit more gear in it and typically a knife or something sharp and cool like that. So if you wanna get the subscription for yourself you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Uh, but let's open up this little cube we got here. I haven't seen as many spoilers this month. Sometimes I do see a lot of spoilers with Battlebox, and I haven't seen as many for this. So coming in a little bit fresh on this one. So here we go. All right, there we go. Pack tight. Okay, we got a hat. Oh, I know what that is. All right, so here we go. Mission brief, mission 115. Um, lots of stuff in here. This is a thicker brief. Okay. Seeing some cool gear. We've got the battle vaults in here. We've got some more ads and stuff there in the back. So it keeps getting thicker and thicker. So I'm gonna pull out all this stuff and we're gonna take a look together. So here we go. Pretty wide range of stuff there. As always, we'll start with the basic box and kind of work our way through as if you were buying each individual level here. Uh, right off the bat, we have Bushcraft Coffee Company. Looks like, okay, if you look at it, it almost looks like tea bags full of coffee. That is interesting. So, I don't know how many we have in here. We have five single serve steeped bags. Interesting. I've seen like the kind that are like almost like a pour over thing where you open them up and sit them on top. I think it's like kudu or something. Um, I hate to open one of these up. You can kind of catch a glimpse through the light. You can see the size of the bag. Just the box in general. Got just the tiniest aroma of coffee there. I think these things are sealed so tight it's not going out, but it looks like you get your boiling water, you throw this in like a tea bag into your camp mug or something like that. You can get a better picture of that there. And then you let it steep for 30 seconds. You kind of like shake it around and stuff, and then you leave it in there for five minutes in that hot water. Um, it looks like the ones that came with this are good for about a year or two, so interesting. I feel like I have not seen coffee with like the tea bag style thing. It looks like it's a thing. It says steeped coffee um, there and the logo on the back of the bag. So that's interesting. Gonna have to try those. Um, I feel like we've had a lot of coffee in these boxes over the years. Maybe I'm just making it up. And in my head, we've had a lot of coffee uh, this calendar year too. So never a bad thing. All right, next up from Simple Strap, we have a 20 foot roll of this stuff. I've seen Simple Strap stuff before, but I think it just came um, in boxes, even before my time, I think this came in just some like strips. But this stuff I think is pretty interesting. I don't know if I had can I open this up or am I supposed to pull it out? All right, so my understanding of this stuff is it's kind of like a do-it-yourself bungee strap where you get the length of this that you want to use. Um, you pull it out, you can cut it off and stuff, and then you can basically um, attach it back in on itself. Like you stretch it and wrap it around something multiple times. And I think it actually holds quite a bit of weight. Um, this is 400 pounds and four straps. So you at least wrap things around three times when you're bundling stuff together. Um, but it like adheres to itself somehow. It's got an instruction video on there. It does feel a little tacky um, when you touch it and everything. You can see the, the brand uh, website there on the strap itself, but kind of an interesting product. I guess it's reusable. Let me see. It is reusable. So kind of crazy. So you know how it is if you've got like a can of bungee ropes, you may have that from like a Harbor Freight or something like I do in my truck. And a lot of times it's like you got to do like a different combination of different size ropes to get it where it's either not too tight or not so loose that it barely hooks in the back of your truck bed. Uh, but the idea of this stuff is you can basically cut it to length exactly what you need um, and use it apparently over and over again to keep stuff on there pretty tight. But I've seen other YouTube reviews of this stuff in the past and it seems to work really well. So 20 feet of that seems super generous. Uh, really dig that. That's a great basic box item. Very cool. And speaking of great basic box items from Wazoo, we have the cash cap. Um, something I actually received in another box. I don't know, maybe this calendar year even, but it wasn't a color that I liked. So I actually ended up trading it to a friend. So I'm glad to see this again now in Battle Box. So what makes these so cool, it looks kind of like a normal, um, I don't know, kind of tactical style ball cap. Since this is just black, it kind of blends in a little bit more. It's kind of a wrist op fabric on here. You got a place for a morale patch here with uh, some hook and loop and everything. But this has all sorts of little stove pockets all on the inside here to store your gear. So you've got the Velcro enclosures here where you can tuck away all sorts of stuff. You've got even the bill of the cap, you can store some things in here. Um, but I guess the idea is if you don't want to have a big bulky cargo short pockets full of gear, or maybe you just have some small items or ID that you could just place in the cap. Um, 
I guess in a situation where somebody's taking your stuff, they're much less likely to be like, hey, give me that hat, not knowing that it's got stuff in it. So you can have emergency money or ID or that sort of stuff in there. But um, more so, I think, just having this hike around and stuff and not having your pockets weighed down where you could have a few like essential items uh, stowed in your hat. Um, it's a pretty cool concept and it's also reflective on the inside, which is just a nice extra there. So lots of reasons to like this stuff. Wazoo Survival makes really cool gear, so cool item to see there. That's a strong basic box right there. So we got some interesting coffee that I've never seen before. The simple strap, which is super useful, and this cap, really strong one. So next up in their advanced box, all right, two items, which I feel like we haven't seen in a long time on here. Uh, we got a knife, so we have the Outdoor Element Contour Feather. Almost looks like like a neck knife or something. Yeah, it says you can wear it as a neck knife, but it's designed to clip into a bunch of different uh, places. Let's see, yeah, it slides out here. Now look at this thing. It almost looks, I wonder if this thing has a ferro rod on it. Okay, let's undo it. So there we go. Sheath kind of came out when I was pulling it out, but we have this little, wow, that's actually really comfortable. We have this really multifunctional, uh, little short and stubby knife, even has some jimping there on the back. It's got a striker, I guess, for this built-in ferro rod. That's cool. It's got like, it looks like a ceramic sharpener built into the sheath. That's really cool. It's like maybe a hex wrench on there as well. It's obviously a knife. Uh, the big circle, I wonder what that's for, if that has a purpose. Let's read through. So it says it has a fire starter, survival whistle, ceramic knife sharpener and honer, and a hex driver. Where's the whistle at? Okay, look at this. The whistle is actually built into the handle here. And it's got a sharp, loud noise. I've actually never seen a knife do that, so good job on that, guys. Um, maybe G10 scales? G10 scales? All right. So I was expecting, sometimes the outdoor element stuff can be a little cheapish. Some of the knives, some of the advanced, I guess, box knives um, from them in the past, I felt would be a little cheap. But this is far like, as a little goof off neck knife goes with all this little survival stuff built in. Kind of dig that. I don't know about this clip back here. It is way more comfortable than it should be with this giant choil on here. It's just, you feel like you're immediately choked down and can just whittle something around a fire. So I actually like this little guy. And yeah, it's VG10 still. Okay, that's kind of surprising in an advanced box where there's actually multiple items here too. So very cool. Uh, we'll move over to the next item, which is the Omni Tinsel, which I guess is like fork handles that can have like a dozen different attachments to it. So we've got, okay, it's got like a burrito roll organizer where you can roll everything together and then you have ends that you can like screw on multiple attachments to. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and we'll take a quick look at it, even though you can kind of get the sense of what this is. Interesting. All right, so we've got our little sticks here at the end, which, I don't know, are these screwed in or something? You've got to unscrew these to get it out of the packaging. I haven't seen that before. That's interesting. But you have these sticks where they have the different attachments. So I guess a chopstick attachment, a spoon and a fork, a toothbrush, a straw? Okay, I'm not totally sure how the straw would work with that. Um, lots of little parts here, so I'm not gonna undo all this right now. Look how these things are in. This thing even has like a little screw holding this thing on. I don't know why, that's just interesting to me from a packaging standpoint. Anyway, uh, so I guess if maybe you're a backpacker or somebody who just wants to take one system that can do a bunch of different things at once, they could save you a little bit of weight versus having all of these different attachments for it. I think it's cool. I don't know in practice if this would be like gimmicky or not to wear like, okay, I need a spoon. Let me go unscrew my chopsticks and put the spoon head on it or it's time to brush my teeth. Let me go clean off this fork and attach like a toothbrush thing on here. Interesting. I will say I'm glad we got two things in the advanced box because this to me is actually a really compelling little knife where this thing is wild. It's gonna be fun to experiment with, but I'm not sure about it yet. Interesting though. Okay, let's keep going. We'll go on to our pro box now. Let's see, we have, okay, kind of a wild wallet here from Dango. Okay, this brand looks familiar. I almost feel like I've seen one of their wallets before and maybe another sub or something here. Cool packaging. I like they have this reusable tin that has all sorts of different uses. Okay, look at this thing. All right, so we kind of have, maybe it has like a little paracord carabiner thing in here. We've got a really souped up wallet. Okay, interesting open and close mechanism there. I wonder if this slides off. Okay, it looks like this pulls out. And we open up our main wallet here. We've got all sorts of stuff in this thing. It looks like an ID sleeve. Almost like a thick ranger band thing to hold some stuff in, your cards. It looks like, is this one of those multi-tool survival things? We definitely have more spaces on the back to hold different cards and everything and different places you can slide stuff out with your finger, which is cool. And it has a metal frame. I'm not sure how to get this out yet. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it looks like this locks in. It kind of like slides in behind it and then clicks down. 
Um, so you do get this kind of wallet size multi tool if you're into that sort of thing. I've, I've had a number of different style of things like this and I've never found them to be particularly useful. Although this being a little thicker in spots may do better than some of the others. It's got your typical hex stuff, like a little line cutter in there, bottle opener, that's nice. And the fact that it's integrated into this thing probably goes a long way. But yeah, lots of little tactical features built into something. I do like that it's soft touch on the outside where it's actually touching your pockets and stuff, which is nice. Lots of different card slots and everything. Definitely an interesting take on this. Let me see if I can get this thing back in. It is interesting to see in that have a dedicated spot where that slots in. Um, I do like the Ranger Band style stuff to hold some stuff in there. Uh, very cool, interesting open and close mechanism there. It even looks, by the way, like this has some tools built into it. Almost looks like you have a tiny hex wrench. It could probably serve as a bottle opener as well in a pinch. Okay, so that's from Dango. Very cool kind of tactical wallet. I like that lots of outside accessible spots there. Let's see if I missed anything on this. This is made in the USA. It is RFID safe. And I was right, like the little clasp on there, it says it has a small chisel, quarter inch hex wrench, bottle opener, flat and Phillips head. Lots of stuff built into this thing. So if you're an EDC guy at all, it likes to carry an item that has multiple purposes and everything, this is probably um, gonna get you pretty amped up. Definitely a solid, solid wallet. Okay. Last but not least, we always get a knife of the month, and it looks like we have a Battle Box brand of one, which is a little bit unusual. Let's see, the Ketchikan. Okay, from Russ Comer, which is the name of the knife world. Cool color, looks like it has a neat sheath and stuff in it. D2 still. Paper my car to handle, you don't see that very much. Okay, let's slide it out and take a quick look at it. Coming out of the box, look at this kind of like throwback handle. That's actually really interesting. Oops. What we lose here, we lost some microfiber, it looks like, and a little card about the guy who made this thing. This guy's from Alaska. All right, cool, the sheath, mm, smells good. Nice, well I'm assuming it's actual leather. Yeah, top grain leather. Let's check this thing out, slides in nice. All right, very, very cool profile. Again, I can't get over this retro finish, paper my car to handle, it's very cool. Has just the slightest amount of tackiness to it that feels really nice. Really reflective finish on the blade itself. It's got some badging here from Anchorage, Alaska. You got what looks like, I guess, a bear claw on there. Thing is razor sharp, no jimping or anything. Little Battle Box logo there on the side if you want to show that off. But what I really like that is super comfortable, almost, almost a small profile, just like that little feather knife from earlier, except a much nicer finish. Um, but just has retro hunting outdoor vibes, which um, I really jive with that. And also with the sheath and everything, which seems to be super comfortable, made for all sorts of different types of carry on your belt too. Um, I really do dig that. So as much as sometimes I don't like to see house brands um, in some of these boxes and stuff, this is one, it's hard to argue with this knife. It's, it's really beautiful. Really cool profile. It's something you'd actually want to carry, especially going into the fall, where you're going to be outside around the fire pit and stuff a lot. It's a really nice piece there. And this sheath, by the way, just smells fantastic. So. Hard not to like that. So there we go. Mission, what was it, 115? Yeah, gosh, 115. So we got Pro Plus, we've got the knife, the Ketchikan from Russ Comer. We've got this wallet from Dango. We've got all this stuff from Outdoor Element, really fun stuff there. The Wazoo Cash Cap, Simple Straps and Coffee. Lots of stuff to like in this box. Again, if you wanna get the subscription for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description and save yourself a little bit of money of that. But as usual, always an interesting mix of gear and battle box and stuff that kind of covers the whole gamut this month. So. I think this is a really good month. All right, guys, that's it for this unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more gear like this. I'll see you guys next time.